Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm rolling solo dolo here on my Madden 19 Browns rebuild. We're moving into the off season. A very special episode. Season two, off season. I'm going to try to make my team even better so I can make it to the Super Bowl. All right, guys. So if you want to go uh, check out any of the videos, I just did a season two and review, which kind of went over the, the team and where we were at and the stats and who won the awards and Super Bowl from last year and all that sort of stuff. Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to improve my team. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is go through my roster. I'm going to keep my coach strategy the same. I kind of like where I was at with that. Uh, so... Baker Mayfield, I need to find a backup quarterback, which is fine. So halfbacks, I'm going to see. I'm I'm just gonna hang on to Duke Johnson. I don't. I mean, I could trade him, but I mean, he's a nice he's nice to fall back on, uh, unless I really really need to cut him. So everybody else, I'm gonna hang on to right now. Fullbacks here, uh, Trey Madden, traded for that guy last offseason. He was amazing. His blocking was tremendous. Wide receivers, all right. So, I don't have very many wide receivers left, but I think I'm going to put Landry on the trade block just to see what I can get for him. Because he'll save me $8 million in cap room, and honestly, the last two seasons, he's been injured. And he, missed, he missed the playoffs last year, so I mean, I'm not really all that worried about it if I don't have him, so... Then here's this Najoku I'm keeping, DeValve I'm keeping. I'll, I mean, that guy, that 57 will end up getting out of here. So, uh, Batonio, all good. Zeitler, I'm actually going to see, since he's getting up there in age, I think he regressed. So, I'm going to add him to the trade block to see what I can get for him. I may not trade him. And then this guy here, I mean, I have that rookie that's a 77. He's a 79, and he's getting up in age. So, I'm going to add him to the trade block as well. I know that my offensive line is lacking. I'm hoping that I can upgrade it some here in the draft or with free agents. So, but you know, it's 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 a work in progress. I'm not gonna lie. So Ogba, I uh, he didn't want to sign with me, and I'm paying him I don't know twelve million dollars. So now I'll take a cap hit, but I'll eat the cap hit because I'm gonna get I'm gonna I can get a first round pick. I can, I'm going to put him on the trade block. I'm going to get something for him. So I don't know if I'm going to trade him straight up and look for my own trade, um, but we'll see. We'll see what I do here. So, all right. And then, of course, Miles Garrett staying. Uh, this, I mean, I'm cool with all these guys. There's nobody I really want to try to get rid of. These guys I'm cool with keeping as well. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, this guy, God, he's so terrible. Um, so much money for, for nothing. He, no one's going to trade for him. So I may have to, I may be slick though. I may throw him in with a trade to sweeten the deal. Um, so, and then, I may, and then I'll go from there. So everybody else, that's where I'm looking at here. I really do think my cornerback situation is okay. Nobody got any freaking interceptions last year, man. That was really... Really not the way I wanted to go. I need some turnovers. So, you know, so as you can see, there's a lot of room for improvement on my roster. Um, I'm going to keep the kicker. I'm going to keep the punter. Here's my picks in the draft. One, two twos, a three, two fours, two fives, and two sixes and a seven. So I may even uh, keep, not even keep them. I may try to trade some of those and get some new players for especially offensive linemen. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. And then, so that's where I'm at here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and try to go through the, the free agents, do some offers, try to make, uh, try to see if anybody bites on any of my people I put on the trade block. And then I will take the quick break. I'll come right back and kind of explain what all happened. And then from there, I'll try to make some trades, etc. So I will be right back back okay guys i'm back uh what i all i did the first free agent round was i just tried to make an offer to this guy who rejected it um i had a lot of contracts clogging up my team with players that i didn't use or players that weren't very good so what i've done is i'll go ahead and show you who i've traded and traded four transactions here we go so i traded All right, so here's what I've done. All right, 
down here to okay. I got this wide receiver. I traded I traded Jarvis Landry, Jamie Collins to free up cap space, like seven million dollars in cap space. He freed up six, seven million dollars in cap space. And a fourth round pick for this guy who's a young wide receiver, uh, fits my scheme, and a second round pick the following year. So I did that. Then I also got I traded Ogba, who didn't want to stay with my team, and a sixth and seventh round pick for this middle linebacker who is a young, really good middle linebacker. He's rated 88 overall. So I did that. Then I traded uh, a right tackle here uh, to the Bears who was just clogging up salary. He was awful. He's like 30 years old. He it was like 72 overall. He was like $7 million a year. I got traded him for a six-round pick just to free up cap space. Then I kind of reorganized some of my players a little bit. I uh, moved uh, the players around to from left end to right, from right end to left end. I moved this guy from middle linebacker to left outside linebacker to kind of change up my depth areas, all like that. So I did that. And then as far as free agents go... I went in here, and then I made a couple offers. I'm, I made an offer to Braxton Miller, who could just be like my third or fourth wide receiver, um, some some guard depth, and this guy who would be a little bit of uh, a little bit of depth for my free safeties. So we will go ahead and advance. See what happens here. Uh, let's see, advance to the next week, and we'll jump ahead. Did I get those players? Okay, I got the free safety, and I got the guard. It looks... Is that guy still thinking about what he wants to do? Or did he just not... He didn't reject me, did he? Oh, Braxton Miller. He's He still doesn't have an offer, so he's just kind of waiting to see if he wants to sign with me or be a free agent, so I guess... So I guess that's really it. Um, I don't think I'm going to sign anybody else right now, uh, mainly for the fact that I don't want to blow cap room. And uh, we'll kind of go from there, and we'll go right into the draft. So um, I guess I'll just scout college players again here. Um, there's not a lot of people I need. I guess I could use a wide receiver. Um, so let me go to scouted. I think there's somebody in here that I didn't get all the way scouted. It looks like, yeah, right here. So this, All right, so <clears throat> we'll go to unscouted here fly down through um i don't really need to scout a lot of guys i'm not gonna take a first round wide receiver um he's a second one wide receiver i guess um let's see here go down i mean i guess i could uh scout these cornerbacks i guess i'm gonna do a couple later round quarterbacks maybe because, I mean, I'm not going to take anybody in the first, but, oh, God, that guy did fucking terrible, but we'll see. Late third, and then this guy is a, another third-round pick. Oh, God, he's terrible. Um, maybe this guy in the... Uh, yeah, all these guys are trash, man. I don't even know what I want to do here. I really do need a... Defensive tackle, I guess. I know it's just, they're just it's just saying that because that guy's hurt. But I will uh, see if anybody's around. Oh God, his fucking he's terrible. Holy crap! All right, so all right, cool. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let's see here, we will advance the week to the next week. And it lets me. Oh, I do have a. I do have a offer for him. What he's a, he is a ton of money. It's like eleven million dollars. Oh, they won't give me a third round pick for him. Hmm. Do I have anybody that can help me there? But he's like he's gotten worse, man. Um, a fourth and a sixth, a third, a fourth. Hmm. It's next year. A third. Maybe I'll take it this year, a third? Oh, 30, next year, fourth. You know, I think I'm just going to keep him, to be honest, unless something really jumps out at me. Oh, God, he did sign. Okay, good deal. 
All right, so I'm going to scout players again. I don't really need to, but I'm going to uh, see who I can scout here. Maybe be some late-round guys. Um, we'll go unscouted, and then we'll go way down here to see who could potentially be around when I need them. Like, maybe some line, some late-round linemen. Like, not defensive linemen, but uh, late-round. Holy crap, dude. Why is everybody so goddamn terrible? Holy shit. Wow. All right. So, everybody's trash. Everybody is trash. I guess I'm just going to be... You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm not even... I'm not even sweating it, so... All right, we're going to advance to the next week. We're going to get to the draft. See how I can... All right, not simulate. We're going to start it, and we'll get in here. I'm going to go ahead and pause it so I have time to pick. And I'm going to skip ahead in the draft to the next user pick. See who I can get here in the first round. Man, all right. So we'll make selection here. See if anybody's available that's really going to help my team. We will go with scouted. All right. So wide receiver, left outside linebacker, left outside linebacker. Those are the only first round people that I have. Yeah, there's not even. That's the first available person, and that's a second round pick. Holy crap, he's a first-round talent safety, but I don't really need that, but I guess I guess I could always do that. All right, I am going to I'm going to grab this left outside linebacker. I'm not it's not anything I really need, but it is something that I am going to I mean, he's got some he's got some stuff, so we'll go ahead and draft him. Oh, he's a star. Look at that. Hells, yeah, look at him flexing. He's like, oh, yeah, dog, what up? So that's good. He's already a 78. We're going to skip ahead in the draft to the next user pick and see who's available then to pick. I really need some fucking linemen. So I have two picks back to back. So let's see who I can pick here. Mm, let's see, scouted. All right, so... I can get this guy who, he's first round talent in the, in the second round. So any offensive lineman, he's a third round guy. All right. Um, is he early third round at least? Oh God, he had a terrible combine though. Holy crap, dude. Why are there no linemen available? Holy shit. All right, so I guess I guess I'm gonna pull this free safety because I'm gonna pick again next. So, all right, so I'm gonna take this free safety here because he'll he'll definitely help me here. All right, let's draft him. He's normal. All right, now I get the next pick here which I'm going to go ahead and pick this wide receiver. He is a, let's go ahead and view his, let's view scouted. His catching is a B, which is great. His spectacular catch is a B, and he's a short route is B. So he's as a mid-second rounder. Marshall Holloway, huh? His 44-5, he has a good jump. All right, let's get him. And it says I reached on him at all. It says I took him up number one overall because I did. All right, skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick. Holy crap, man. There's like no linemen. This is not good. All right, make my selection. I need to get a lineman. There has to be a lineman available, right? Oh, my God, there is not. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, so my line is going to continue to be trash, but I think that's a common problem. None of these guys really jump out to me. This guy, oh, he's our lineman. He has a he has third round talent in the fourth round. I mean, is that it? Oh, this guy, I guess. 
run block, impact block. I'll take this guy because he is a he's a, he has more talent than is Mike Popic. Yay! At least he's quick, right? All right. So he's all right. Skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick. If that line, if left if that left tackle is there, I'm going to take him. So we will go ahead. He probably won't be at this point, but we'll see. We'll see who's there. We'll go to scouted. Uh, yep, he's not there, of course. Why would he be? Holy crap, man. Whew. Shit is becoming slim fucking pickings. I'll tell you what. All right. Um. So I guess I could take. I need a backup. I need a backup strong safety. So I think I'm gonna take him. So we'll go with Tyrone Kidd. All right. And then we'll go ahead and skip ahead in the draft to next user pick again, which I'll pick here in a few picks. Make my selection. Pick player. All right. Who is left now? Holy crap, man. Whew. I do not need him. Right tackle. Center. Quarterback. Um, Let's see here. Anybody jumping out? Anybody at all? No, they are not jumping out at all. All right. <clears throat> I do need a backup. Right tackle. Impact block, pass power block, lead block. I do need depth, man. I do need depth. All right. Let me see here. What does he got? I can always move these guys to a different position to be a backup. So let's go ahead and get him. <clears throat> he has a fourth round pick. Yeah, he's he's reaching, but hey, I need I need depth of the line. So we'll go ahead. And, I mean, we're getting into the into the people that aren't going to be very usable regardless. All right, so I pick now and I pick again in five picks. So if there's nobody. Let's see, scouted. Oh man, whoo! All right, so I guess yeah. So I mean. I do need he's pass block B mine. I mean, God, these guys are fucking trash. But I need depth at the moment. So any of these guys could could really kind of blow up. So this next pick, skip ahead in the draft. Next, I'm gonna trade this one. Uh, see what I can get for it. Cause there's gonna be nothing. Uh, can I get a four? Okay, I'll take a fourth in. Let's see. So next year, 113 guesstimate, 126 and 119. All right, I'll trade with the, I'll trade with the Lions. So I'll take another fourth round pick next year. All right. So we'll skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick. All right. Let's see here. So it's six round six pick five. So we'll go ahead and see what we can do here. We'll go to scouted. I'm not gonna take another right tackle. I'm not gonna take another left tackle, so I'm gonna trade that away as well. We will trade pick away. Review offer. Let's see if I can get. Is there a fifth round pick in here? Oh, there sure is. One thirty-two. Oh, a fourth rounder. Okay. You really want somebody, don't you? All right. So we'll take that. We'll take a we'll take a fourth round every time for a sixth. I don't care if you are the Saints since the very last pick in the fourth round. <clears throat> you never know how bad you're gonna do. Skip ahead in the draft. And it's the next user pick. We will trade this away again. Definitely not picking any more players because they're just going to be fucking garbage. Pff, okay, I'll take the fourth round pick. You got it, friends. I'll take it from the Patriots. They are only 8-8. Eight eight. Skip in the draft. All right, so the next user pick, it'll be the round 7, uh, pick 26. And I, let me see. If, if this left tackle is there, I may take him because I do need depth. Uh, Scouted. Nope. Nobody. All right. So, I am going to go ahead and trade this pick away. What can I get for it? Seven, 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 five, seven, seven. Pff, okay, Patriots. I don't know why they're trading away all their picks. That's why they're fucking terrible right now, I guess. So, we'll see how that works out for them. <clears throat> Skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick. All right. So, here we are. Uh oh, David Njoku. 
Is my fucking guy not? So let's see here. View contract details. Let's see what we got. So I got a 77 overall, a 76 overall, a 74, 73, 73, 72, and 71. Which, I mean, it's not great, but I will go ahead and see. Let me go and look at uh, just the roster here. See who I need. And uh, so I still need to get a, a backup quarterback, which is fine. I'm good on running backs, fullbacks. I'm good. Wide receivers. I am one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. That rookie's 74. I mean, so that's cool. All right, so I'm good on wide receivers, tight ends. I'm good. Left tackle. We'll have to work. Left guard. We'll have to work. I will go ahead and do that in a second. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of these centers a right tackle. This guy drafted last year. This guy's a rookie this year, so is he. So I'm going to go ahead and do this guy. Make a good old Popic here, a right tackle. And maybe he can uh, maybe he can get better, so we'll save the changes. So he was a 73 or whatever, so now he is a 74. And, he, and he's a quick, and he fits the scheme. So that's cool. I mean, so now my line is pretty pretty garbage. But I got some people who are okay, I guess. Uh, left end will be fine. Right end, I'm good. Defensive tackle, I'll be, I'll be good here too. Left outside linebacker. Okay, so there's, there's him, there's him, and then there's my rookie. Um... I almost want to put him as the starter and put Kirksey somewhere else. So then I got Raglan him and that guy, so I'll be good as at middle linebackers. And then my right outside linebacker will be. I mean, my linebacking core is not bad, man. I got some. I got some good players. Uh, cornerbacks. We're good. There for now for this year. Um, so we got this guy. And that's the guy I signed. So. We're good there, and then I drafted that guy too. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'll probably have some extra guys. So and for for next year's draft, we're looking at one one, two twos, a three, two fours, and a five. And then already those following years, I got two 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 three. I mean, I'm really starting to stack it up into 2021. So. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and advance the week to preseason week one. And then I just need to get a really be, I'm going to look at free agents real quick, guys. See what is available. I need to pick up a um, quarterback, a backup quarterback. So look at Julian Edelman up here. All right, cool. Let's see here. Uh, quarterback. Who's going to be my backup quarterback? Let's see. Tom Savage. Paxton Lynch, huh? Holy crap, dude. Cody Kessler. Who is going to be the backup here? Everybody's a fucking scrambler. I guess I'll take Tom Savage. He's like the the best, I guess. I mean, he wants $4 million for one season, but... I mean, there's not really much I can do, huh? Where's my cap room? I have $27 million, so I'll keep him as a, a one-year guy in case uh, what's-his-face gets hurt. I don't really have a choice. So there's that. And then uh, let's see if anybody else is available. It's really worth my while. Top 100. All right, cool. So let's see here. Um, I mean, EJ Apple's there, but I don't want to pay him all that fucking money. I don't really need a... I mean, the cornerback situation, I'm pretty good at the moment. Yeah, I mean... Not really. I'm going to see if there's any really cheap young guys available that have kicker. No, he's a, he's not bad, to be honest, one year. But nobody's super young. Like, no rookies that are popping out for... So, I guess I'm going to be good. So, all right, guys. Thank you for checking out... Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do the old depth chart for you guys here. And then... Uh, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up and get it into the next season. So, 
All right, rerun the depth chart. Okay, so here we got Mayfield, then Cone, Chubb, Johnson, Perkins. I'm actually going to put Johnson fourth because he's literally going to be the backup, backup, backup. Uh, fullback's good. Oh, God, come on. Okay. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I use Callaway better in the slot. So I'm going to put this... I want to put this guy ahead of him, and I'm actually going to put my rookie ahead of Braxton Miller because Braxton Miller was literally just like a signing. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Um, how's their catching? Ooh, that guy's catching is fucking low. Holy shit. Um, what is this guy? Oh god, no, not reset. All right, that'll work. I'll I'll try that for now. We'll see how that goes. Uh, tight end is going to be good. And then uh, we'll see how it did my left tackles. So it's just going to, I think it's just going to keep them the best way it looks here. Yeah. Okay. These guys are definitely trash. So we'll see how that works out for me. Um, Carl Nassib is a way downgrade, but that's all right. Uh, Miles Garrett, he is fucking beast. And it's going to be the last year I have him because I can't afford to that guy is still not back on the roster. Is he like, is he dead? How many more fucking weeks is he out? Holy shit. Why is he the left outside linebacker? Hold on a second. What is going on? Middle linebacker, Raglan, Schobert, Black. Okay, that's cool. Right outside linebacker. Um, who? Wait, hold on a second. I'm so confused at what's going on here. So we'll do, we'll, we'll do, no, no, no. That's not what's going to happen here. The rookie is going to... We're going to make Dawson still the right linebacker. That's his fucking job. All right. Left outside linebacker. All right. Oh, hold on. We'll just put Kirksey up here again. Okay. Then we're going to go right outside linebacker. And then we're going to make him the fucking starter, like he should be. And then where is Christian Kirksey? Yeah, he's, he's old. I'm not worried about it. So then we'll make this guy the backup. We'll make Shaq Griffin the backup, and then we'll make that guy the next backup. And then for left outside linebacker, we'll go ahead and put the we'll put Shaq Griffin as the starter. And then we will put this guy as the backup. And Kirksey is third. Holy shit, man. I probably should put Kirksey on the trade block because he's he makes a lot of money and I don't really care. I have enough linebackers now. All right, I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a second. And then we are good here. Free safeties, uh, Calhoun, my rookie, and then that guy. Okay, strong safety, Peppers, rookie, and then this other free safety again. All right, cool. All right, kicker, punter. My kick returner. Who's that going to be? Oh, that guy can be a kick returner? No, it's going to be this guy and Duke Johnson. So we'll do we'll do those two as, as punt returner or kick returners. Punt returner we can do. We are not putting my star goddamn running back at kick returner. I'm sorry. Roman Perkins, you can... You can get it there, buddy. Unless you're the guy. I may have to change this. So we'll see. But there's that. Let me just kind of get through here. Okay. Third down running back. Tariq, yes. And I guess Duke will be the backup backup. I don't know. Power, Nick Chubb, if I need a power running back. Slot wide receiver is Callaway. Yes, definitely not him. Actually, yes, him. Yeah, that's what it should look like. All right. I'm not exactly... Some of this stuff doesn't make any sense, but I'm good here. Okay, come on. All right, sub linebacker. Okay. That'll work. Corner. All right. So, all right, guys. <clears throat> that's where I'm at. 
I'm going to go ahead and get through the preseason. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do anything I got to do, do all the cuts, do all that. And then uh, we will be back for season three, week one. So that is all the time I have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We also have a podcast here at The Crazy Town. It is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Links are in the description. It's also here on the YouTube channel. But for Jonas, I am out.